Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another album review and this time it's Government Mule and Peace Like a River and it's absolutely sublime. It's a wonderful, beautiful album. This is the double vinyl version with the gatefold sleeve. Um, it comes with a lyric sheet as well. I'm also going to recommend the two CD deluxe version which I've currently got an order and it's not here at the time of doing this review and um, that has some extra tracks uh, as the deluxe editions that Government Mule release on CD normally have. So the insert has some pictures and the lyrics on the, on the back as well or the front depending on how you view it. It's a continuous evolution of Warren Haynes's vision of what Government Mule are all about. So in the early days, it was really raw blues, extended jams, you know, their live CDs and, uh, are legendary in the fact that they never play the same track twice. I became a massive Warren Haynes fan from his time with the Allman Brothers and his the album we did with Dickie Betts. And I've just bought everything, everything they've done. And of course, they are like a sponge a musical sponge in how they absorb everything from doing Sweet Leaf to War Pigs by Black Sabbath to doing um, dub music to doing Pink Floyd to, you know, the Mr. Big, the, the way that they can do, you know, any cover version and turn it into a government mule classic track. And they're just fantastic. But also, I think that when Warren Haynes started to do his solo stuff, it became more soulful, more R&B um, and kind of almost parallel went along in the same lines as Tedeschi Trucks in, in some ways. And so this album is a progression from how things have been going. Of course, they've also dabbled with jazz fusion with John, is it John Schofield? That was a great album as well. And they've had lots of guest stars on different things. They are a musician's band and they're a, a fan's band. They are just wonderful I, I love them um this is the first time i've gone out onto vinyl with them i've got everything else on on cds box sets everything by them and as i said i've got the cd on order for this album but i just love this it's just perfect to the time of where i am at the moment as i say it's not you can't compare it to the albums from the late 90s or the the noughties even it, but you can see the growth through every album they've done since since then um you know the notes that i made uh, before doing this review was the opening track same as it ever was and these are these are long tracks they're like six and a half minutes six minutes seven and a half minutes nine minutes um i know chris one of the members of the naspini magazine facebook community said oh great when i showed him the photograph of the back cover they're long tracks because that's one of the things you just love about government mule is the long tracks but the other thing I love about them. That doesn't mean it's an extended guitar solo that's in your face. They kind of create musical soundscapes, um, like to just hang in the air with lots of different things going on. It isn't necessarily for one musician to dominate. It's just they put together like a painting for your ears and, and you just go along with it and it will drift and it will go to places you may not expect. You know, the opening track I put down here was quite laid back. It's a great Hammond solo in it. It's almost got um, a kind of gospel feel in places as well, but it's just joyous. You know, great vocals. It's just absolutely joyous. Um, Shake Our Way Out is next. And this has got Billy Gubbins from ZZ Top. So it's got a very kind of swampy blues um, feel, um, but some real laid back, groove to it um when I, when I was making some notes I kept putting down the word groove because it it's it's a feel it's a feel good album it just sits in your living room or wherever you're playing it in a really really great way um it really really does and because Billy Gibbons is on it you know it's him it's got that kind of really gritty bluesy feel but he doesn't overplay um he's he fits in as if he's been absorbed by Government Mule. Um, so it's Z, it's Billy Gibbons, but 
through the lens of Government Mule. And Peace I Need is next. Um, and, the other, and this again is very passion, great passionate chorus, um, you know, wonderful, again, musicianship, absolutely fantastic. It's a bit, a bit Zeppelin-y, this one. There's a bit of kind of the way that the guitar, the stop-start guitars and the and percussion, it's a bit, a bit zeppish in, in places, this one. And then on side two, we get, um, have I got it? Yes, Made My Peace. This one is nearly, is it? Yes, it's over nine minutes long. And I think this is one of my favorite tracks. It's got a, this, this is um, quite a, a big production. There's like an orchestra on it. Um, so it starts with a feel like strings on it, but it builds into a full orchestra. It's a bit Pink Floydish. It's a bit ELO in there in places. It's raw. It's it, The last album had this kind of really scaled back production. And even though this has got strings on it, it still has that kind of feel. I absolutely adore it. I really, really do. Your Only Friend is a great, it's emotive. Um, and that's, that's the other thing I'd like to say at this point. It is emotive. Um, I felt that, you know, whatever's going on in your life, you kind of, give me all the good for you. You know, it, they're good. They're good for your spirit. They're good for your soul. Uh, they really are. Really great band. And then we've got, uh, what is it, track six, which is Dreaming Out Loud. And this is, I love this. This is kind of like really soul, funky, lots of brass on it. Absolutely brilliant. I can't remember if this is the one with one of the, it is. Um, you've got Ivan Neville on this and Ruthie Foster on as well. And their voices just blend in so well with Warren Haynes. Um, and then Ruthie's vocals are really, really soulful. I love the brass backing. It, it really is absolutely fantastic. Um, and then after that, we go on to side three, if you've got the vinyl, which is Head Full of Thunder, which is actually quite a short track. It's about four and a half minutes long. And this is a up-tempo rock song. When I say up tempo, it's you know four four. It's not like fast, but it's a great great song. It really really is, and a great title for song is the next one called "The River Only Flows One Way," and this starts with a slow groove. Um, it's got a great bass line. Billy uh, Bob Thornton's on this. Uh, he sounds absolutely fantastic, and this technically is a reggae track. Now, reggae is not the kind of music that I lean towards, but I, but in a way, Government Mule have helped me, pull me into this, especially when they did their dub album. And this has got some cliches from that genre. The way they use the horns is, you'll notice when you hear it, it sounds like the kind of horns that you get on a reggae type track. Um, but it sounds wonderful. It's Again, it's just a great, great groove. It really is. Um, and then the next track after that is After the Storm. And this starts with a great bass riff. Um, it's a bit like The Doors, this one. It reminded me of The Doors. It's got a great kind of atmosphere. It's the keyboards. The keyboards are like The Doors. And I just, again, just brilliant. Really, really cool. Um, and then After the Storm, we get Just Across the River. Um, another song with the river in the title. And this is again, another soulful, funky, laid back track. And again, the kind of length where you can just lose yourself in it. Um, live, live, these songs are going to be extended. You just know that, you know, and that's the other thing, a wonderful thing about uh, Government Mule, is if, this, if there's a live album that comes out on the back of this, it will be the tracks You'll recognise the track titles, but the music will just go off in a different dimension. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Um, then we have Long Time Coming. And I thought this one was the closest to Dideski Trucks that the album comes to, really. Again, um, wonderful horns, wonderful backing, great musicianship, fantastic. And then the last track on here is Gone Too Long, which is... Again, laid back, it builds up epically. Fantastic slide guitar solo from Warren on this. Um, not over busy, but 
using the guitar like a human voice, which you know, I love that. Um, I love guitarists that just, you know, stretch out and go for it. But I also like guitarists, as you know, my, my love of Paul Kossoff. I love guitarists that kind of use each note like a, like, um, a human voice. And I don't just mean a voice saying a word, but um, putting an emotive feeling behind that note so it becomes an emotion in how they play. And Warren Haynes does this so well. Um, I'm, I'm over the moon with this album. And if you're a Government Mule fan and you followed the journey, you've kind of gone with them, then you'll understand um, how they've come apart. If Could you start here? Yes, you could start here. And then head back and you'll head back to the more rocky stuff in places. But this is such a joyous album. And, you know, where I am now recording this um, in June 2023, uh, if I turn on the news, it's like pretty bleak. Um, and it's almost as if they've they put together something that's like taking your vitamins um, that will make you feel good, like a glass of fresh fruit juice. It will just make you feel good inside. It's a really, really great album and it will create a great atmosphere in whatever room it's played in, or the car, whatever. Uh, but as I say, this is the double vinyl version. It's also available as a deluxe CD as well. It's a great album. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for becoming patrons, joining the YouTube channel. Don't forget to visit the website, nasbinning.co.uk. And remember the podcasts are on every platform you can think of as well. Take care, stay safe, keep spinning those discs, and I shall see you very, very soon.